Now before the bell, U.S. markets, they rose on Friday, led by shares in the energy, media, and software and services sectors. Advancers well ahead of decliners, 64% of S&P 500 constituents higher on Friday. And the market, that was closed yesterday for the President's Day holiday. Now after the market closed on Friday, Transocean announced Stephen Newman will step down as President and CEO effective yesterday. Comcast announcing a California Public Utilities Commission administrative law judge recommending to approve its pending $45 billion merger with Time Warner Cable and related transactions with Charter Communications. Now turning overseas, Asian markets, they were mixed today. The Nikkei, that was up 0.1%. The Hang Seng up about a quarter percent. While South Korea's Kospi also inching higher, 0.16%. European markets, they are lower this morning and U.S. futures are calling for a soft opening. Earnings releases expected for today do include Medtronic, third quarter EPS seen at 97 cents, while Waste Management, fourth quarter EPS seen at 60 cents, on sales of approximately three and a half billion dollars. Economic data due out today. In a little bit, we have the February Empire Manufacturing Report expected at eight and a half, while in the afternoon, we have the December net long-term TIC flows. And regarding the trend on indices, Trading Central does say the U.S. markets are bullish and calling for further upside. The S&P 500, that's on the upside and in focus as the contract is trading above its 20 and 50 period moving averages. A further upside is expected, preferring long positions above 2,081 with targets at 2,106 and 2,116 in extension. The Nasdaq, that's on the upside, preferring long positions above 4,340. And the Dow Jones on the upside as well, preferring long positions above 17,890.